BMW offers a 3 Series wagon with X Drive and even tosses in the lure of diesel power. But Munich's wagon is not available in M3 spec. AMG and M batched vehicles, oxymoronically named performance crossovers, are far more common, while automakers ruin the handling of perfectly good station wagons by raising the ride height for a Neo SUV profile. See the Audi A4 Alroad or Volvo's own V60 Cross Country. It appears few Americans looking to slip a dog crate into the back of a luxury wagon also expect that car to hit 60 miles per hour in less than 5 seconds and corner at 0.9 grams, but for those few, the Polestar is the only answer, outside of the bonkers Mercedes AMG E63. The order book opened April 5th with deliveries slated to start in early August. The price is not yet set for 2017 US models, but the Swedes said they were aiming for zero increase over last year's car, which cost $62,240 here, a sunroof will be optional on the new model. Polestar built 750 cars in each of its first two model years and sent America a total of 385, the mix tilted heavily in favor of wagons. For 2017, Volvo aims to build about 1,500 of its S60-V60 Polestars for worldwide distribution to 47 countries, and the maker promises a few hundred will get to America. They're not all rebel blue, Polestar's racing color, with white, black, and silver also available for those who'd rather go incognito. Distinguishing a 2017 from the earlier model years won't be easy, if you catch one sitting still. Look for the now slotted front brake rotors and the 20 inch wheel design, which is similar to before but with each of the former spokes split into two narrower ones. An astute ear may detect the new Polestar's coarser exhaust note, less pleasing than the mellifluous tones that came from the six cylinder. The WTCC racers seemed happy enough with their 400 HP 1.6 liter four cylinder sedans, but those guys never go out for a drive with a shopping list in their pocket. We'd make ours a wagon and suggest Polestar get to work on the new V90, too.